guys, I've got another first impression video for you today. I'm just gonna get comfy. So, I've got a massive box of stuff here, minus the Tangle teaser, to test out. I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm actually gonna start with the Body Shop's Vitamin E SPF 30 Moisture Protect Emulsion with Vitamin E and Wheat Germ Oil. Wow, there's a lot of words that I can't read. <laughs> this is for all skin types. It's basically a Vitamin E SPF for your face. It's got a little pump on it as well. I'm just pumping some on the back of my hand. It's quite watery, which is nice. I always find that it's nice to put a base on your face that's quite watery. Because if it's too thick, my makeup clings to it. This feels so smooth. My face always goes super red when I put moisturiser and stuff on. That has gone on my face so smoothly. I can tell that's gonna be a really nice base for makeup as well. And I just love the fact that it's got SPF in it. I think it's hard to find good moisturizers for your face that I've got SPF in. I always tended to just use my regular sun cream on my face, which I don't think is that good. But yeah, I'd definitely rather use something like this that is catered for that. So, that's gone on so nice. Moving on to the Body Shop Insta Glow, I've actually got three shades of it here. There's a warm glow, a bright glow, and a peachy glow. And I think I'm gonna go for, I would say the warm glow, but I've got a lot of fake tan on right now, and I don't know if it'll make me look too warm, but then again, the lights are totally washing me out. I might just go for the warm glow. Now this, says it's a CC cream and it's a healthy glow reviver. This has also got SPF 20 in. And it says it counteracts ashiness and warms up the complexion. It moisturizes for 24 hours, minimizes the appearance of pores, reduces shine, and it's UVA slash UVB protection. Oh, and it illuminates. Cool. I'm gonna mix a bit of the warm one and the bright one together just to make the warm one a bit more pale. This is giving me a serious glow, like healthy glow. It's like I've just put a really sheer layer of fake tan on my face. It's just made my face look a lot healthier. I would probably wear this on its own on holiday and stuff, especially because this has got SPF in too. It's got SPF 20. But today, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna put some foundation on and see what that looks like underneath. So I've chosen this foundation, which is the MAC Studio Fix. And this normally looks incredibly matte and quite dry on me nowadays. It used to look really nice and glowy, but that's when I had oily skin and now I feel like I've got a lot more dry skin. So I'm gonna see what this base does to kind of give me luminosity. Immediately, I don't have to put as much foundation on as I normally would. I put the tiniest bit on there, it wasn't even a full pump. Normally I put two pumps on. So that base has worked so nicely. You can still see the luminosity and the healthy glow that it's given me. I love that. I'm just putting a bit of concealer underneath my eyes. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up. Can't get over how glowy I look. I look so healthy. It's amazing. I hope it's picking up on camera. I got this brush sent to me from Lily England. It's a gorgeous white handle brush with a copper thing and it feels so soft. And I'm actually just gonna use that to powder because when I've got my big lights on my face, everything tends to look incredibly shiny. <laughs> do next is contour and bronze to be fair I don't normally contour like massively I kind of just contour with my bronzer not with like a grey contour shade if that makes sense but I've been kindly sent the amazing cosmetics perfection stick it says cover and contour on the go so I'm gonna give this a go adding some around my forehead. I'm gonna try my beauty blender first. I never use products like this, so I don't know what is good to blend it out with. This is working quite nicely, actually. Just gonna add a little bit more. I'm 
actually really impressed with that. I think that's worked really nicely. I'm just looking in the viewfinder and it looks like it looks like it's not blended in properly. But it is. So that's a bit weird. Oh my god, there's an ice cream man outside. I want an ice cream. Oh, that's so cute. My lips look really pink today. Moving on to eyebrows, I've got this really strange product. It's from Pure and it's called a browder and it's a perfecting brow powder. Firstly, loving the shipping of the name, but it comes out like Harry Potter's wand. Oh my God, that's such an innuendo. And it's got powder on, it's not liquidy at all. It's so strange. So I'm gonna try and fill my brows in with this. Oh my God, so much fallout. Okay, you definitely have to tap it first. is really strange but also kind of cool hmm this is so difficult to fill your brows in I look like a wannabe Lily Collins right now I'm not too keen on this product I think it's way too gingery for my brows and it's so difficult to use so I'm gonna just take my brows off pop what I normally put on and then I'll be back I am back moving on to eyeliner I've got four amazing shades Ooh, I nearly dropped one. So I've got these shades. I've got a lilac one, a teal one, a snot green one, and a cobalt blue. These are from NYX. They're called the Vivid Brights. And I actually bought all of these because I was so excited when I saw them. They do a few other shades as well. I'm pretty sure they've got like a lemon, maybe an orange and a pink. But I chose these. And I've already tried the blue one, as I've just said. So I think I'm going to go with the teal. This looks bright green in the container, but it's not. I think for summer, this is such a cute little trend to have coloured eyeliner. Why not step out of your comfort zone? So let's hope this goes okay. I actually just took the green one off because I wasn't feeling it and put the blue one on which I think is so cool and now I've got this Lancome mascara to try it's the Hypnos Drama I've actually tried this once didn't really like it but it's been sitting for a few days so hopefully it's like better now I don't know <laughs> logic I don't know if I like it or not. We'll do a second coat. It's very separating and lengthening, so if you like that, you'll probably love it. But I like volume and it's not really giving me much, so I'm just gonna go over it with the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. So that is just gonna have to do, I think. It's not normally how I have my eyelashes. I normally have a lot more volume, but it's all right. I don't mind. I've got this Chanel powder and I'm just gonna put a bit of that over the contour, just cause I think the contour isn't as dark as I'd like it to be. This brush is gorgeous. I want like 10 of these. <laughs> Now I'm moving on to highlight and I could either go really glowy and use this rose gold one from Model Zone or I could go more icy and use the Barium Strobe Cream. Not too sure. I might go for a little bit of the Model Zone one and just see what it looks like. I'm going to just dab this a bit on my beauty blender. That's actually super pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. I might put a bit of the strobe cream on top to see how that works. Whoa, okay, this is amazing. And finally onto lips, I'm using this crazy color. It's a Makeup Forever Artist Acrylip Liquid Stain. This is incredible, it just looks like this. And mine is in the shade 922, I think. So. I absolutely love this lip colour. I think it's so cool. I want to buy so many more shades of these. They're perfect for summer. They're so, so, so glossy, as you can see. And I guess that's the end of this makeup look. I'm loving the mixture of the warm glow and the bright glow. 
Instaglow CC creams from The Body Shop. I feel like my face still looks very glowy and nice. I'm loving this eyeliner, I think it's amazing. Not too keen on the teal one, I wouldn't recommend that, but that one's so good. This brush is also amazing. It doesn't say which number it is, but I think they just come in a set, so nice. And obviously, this Makeup Forever acrylic lip. So that is the end of this video. Let me know what your favorite product was in the comments below. I'll link them all in the down bar so you can find them easily. Definitely check out the Vitamin E SPF. That is super good for summer. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like me to do more first impressions and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.